Hello beautiful people. Another week has flown by and we are now well into November. The weather is still strangely warm and very dry and our region of Greece hasn't had any significant rainfall since the beginning of September when Storm Daniel created havoc in central Greece. They say that this October is the hottest and driest October since 2010 and temperatures are likely to stay well above average for a while. Whilst this has created big problems for the olive harvest this year, we made the most of the warmth and have spent a lot of time on the beach this past week. Enjoying the sun on our skin and the unusual warmth of the crystal clear waters has been balm for the soul for me and it's been a welcome cool off on the hot days. We still haven't got much further with the house either, so keeping ourselves sane and occupied isn't all that easy. It feels like we have no purpose right now and I'm missing Bruno terribly too. So any distraction is a welcome occasion to keep my mind from wandering too far. In this vlog we will take you on the olive harvest with us, as friends of ours kindly gave us permission to film the process and publish it. A huge thank you to Christos and Marijke for letting us tag along and share it with you all here. The olive harvest is a huge part of Greek life and it only felt right to dedicate almost a whole vlog to this. I think it is good to know just how much intensive labour goes into harvesting this superfood, as there are no shortcuts here. Harvesting olives is still an incredibly human and labour intensive process and I am really excited to share it with you here. It's a Sunday and it's a beautiful Sunday as you can see and we're on the way to olive harvesting today so we're going to show you the process uh, what it's like we're going to go and see our friends Christos and his girlfriend and it'll be a busy day for them we're going to join them for a little bit we haven't got too much time today but we will be joining them later in the week as well so yeah we'll um, show you what the olive harvest is all about here Got to start, you're not on there, so don't worry. <laughs> so we've arrived at the um, the field that they're gonna do today or the, the olive um, growth they're gonna do today. So, And the first thing you do is you spread out the nets um, and it just literally is draped all across the area that they're harvesting with the trees and that kind of shifts around. And this is what it looks like. So, and it's just a, you know, really typical, they many use just plastic sheets or whatever, or netting like this, but just the olives and then um, they gather them, pour them together, and then the sorting process with the leaves and that kind of thing starts. But yeah, we'll um, see some. This is the apparatus that actually fuels the um, machines all day. So it's a big, strong leisure battery. And that will then, work with this little baby up there. So there are two olive types. One is the small olive, which is actually used for oil production. And then there's the bigger one, which is the eating type. So, and obviously Kalamata olives are really well known for um, being huge and amazing in flavor and that kind of thing but today and especially around here uh, the Messinian Mani here um, tends to be mostly um, just the olive oil producing trees so the smaller the smaller fruit and um, yeah olive harvest kind of starts late October end of October and then from November everything is in full swing it's also the season that you, um, you're allowed to start fires again. So a lot of the off cuts, because the trees are tended to as well, they will um, be burnt 
any of the leaves, that kind of thing. So it's, you know, it's a real process and it's just part of life here, really. Everybody gets really excited about olive harvest and it's super hard work. It's still, you know, temperatures are going up to 26, 27 degrees still during the daytime. So it's hard work. And then at the end of, of it, when it's all done, the families and the friends who um, harvest their, um, their fields together, um, they will just have a great big feast and, you know, celebrate that the end of the harvest is there. So I'm just going to show you the difference because I've actually found an eater here as well. So you can see the difference in size and um, size of tree as well, size of leaves and the fruit. So first of all, what I'm going to show you now is an uh, oil producing tree. smaller one. And you can see the leaves are quite small. So um, I'll take one of these leaves with me because I want to show you the other bit. And this is an eater so I need to try and find somewhere where I can actually reach but first of all let me show you the difference in leaf so you can see much much bigger leaf compared to the small one I can easily reach and you can see the differences So this part of the process is the next thing. The, um, the olives are off the tree and now it's really important to get the worst of the leaves out um, before they can actually then be packed into the sacks and taken to the um, factory. So that's what Simon is doing right now. Very labour intensive. It's all very labour intensive actually because it's all done by hand. So yeah.
Oh, we've got a holy sack full of. people um, I think it's the 6th, 6th of November can't even speak at the moment and I've just had a phone call from Christos and his girlfriend that uh, they are going to the olive press and that was the last bit that was still missing for the vlog so because I didn't get a chance to do that part last time um, so we're here and as per usual it's super busy here um, it's it's kind of the, the height of the season now, so everybody's starting to pick and bring their olives in. You can book slots, but you can also just kind of appear, pick a ticket, and then at some point you'll get your, your olives pressed as you go along. So um, as you can see, it's super busy already. As it's the end of the day, everybody's done their day's harvest, and here we are, so. And that's it. The whole process from fruit on the tree to the liquid green gold in the bottles that we pour on our salads and we love to cook with. The food of the gods, imbued with many incredible healing properties. A true superfood. Trust me when I say that whatever we buy from the supermarkets in the UK is nothing like the real thing, even if it says that it's extra virgin olive oil. The texture, the color, and the incredible flavour that true first press olive oil brings is extraordinary and a big part of the immense flavour of the Greek cuisine. <laughs> 